Welcome between these hallowed hedges. Sanford Stadium in Athens, Georgia, home to the Georgia Bulldogs, where they've had a little chicken, they've had a little drink, and friends, it's time once again to let the big dogs eat. This matchup today, part of the lifeblood of the sport, a rivalry game where the results will be remembered for a lifetime. As we'll see a squad from the ACC, the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets, taking on the second-ranked team in the land, the Georgia Bulldogs. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. Georgia likely to kick it deep to get things started. He'll bring it out. It's Haynes. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. The Yellow Jackets return team didn't help matters out much there. There will be some clean, old-fashioned hate on display in this one, guys. Uh, how cool is that, by the way? That's the name of the rivalry. When it comes up, clean, old-fashioned hate. You think they like each other? Absolutely not. Bragging rights all through the state of Georgia. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Defense is about firing off, hitting the offensive guys and staying in your gaps, everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You could tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. The roar of the crowd trying to fuel this defense to keep them pinned in their own end. Catch in the middle, it's Lane. And a good job of coverage by that defense, just a short pickup. The rambling wreck and the dogs have been fighting it out for a long time. No, people forget Georgia Tech is a charter member of the SEC. That was a long time ago. First meeting back in 1893. Yeah, and reportedly they wanted to join the SEC later, and Georgia said no. But how about this? Tech has a line devoted to Georgia in their fight song about how much they hate them. So that gives you an idea of how deep the hate is. Well, this tight end is so athletic that at times they'll line him up in different parts of the field. That time he was in the slot. Nice job running the route, finding the open space in the defense for the completion. And the Yellow Jackets will hustle to the line. Wants to throw on first down. He lost one down the sideline. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. Oof. That's one of those plays where you're going, man, he probably could have made that. The defense wasn't great on the play, but guess what? It goes down as an incompletion. Those are one of those bullets that you've got to dodge throughout a game to get the win, to limit those big plays. Pocket starts to collapse. Gets away from one. He's got space. When you've been around like this guy has, you know how valuable picking up the first down with your feet can be. Man, that's so frustrating, and it happens so fast. He just pulls it down. It looks like pass. He pulls it down, and he's gone. Just like that, chewing up yards. So much speed, so hard to stop. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. From the gun, running back gets to give. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive that he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement play. Looking to pass. It's Kane. Quickly complete. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. The Yellow Jackets are moving quickly down the field. The running back has it. Jukes his way for more. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. That kind of pickup on first down, and you can take a shot here on second and short. He's looking to throw. Got it behind the line. It's Alexander. He stopped quickly, but not before he has enough for the first down. 
Nice job by the running back catching the football and understanding where the first down marker was. I got to go get that first down. Did a nice job of it. This crowd knows this defense needs them right now. From the red zone, looking for a man. Fires to the wideout. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. And just an awesome job by that defender on that play. Great awareness, and he had his eyes on the quarterback, so he saw the ball thrown, and as such, he was able to go and swat it away. The noise level is relentless here on second down. After the incompletion, they go back up top. He finds his man. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Nice completion here to this wide receiver, and you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offense's success. This offense trying to quiet the crowd on first and goal, and they are not cooperating. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. These fans raising the volume on second and goal. He'll run it to the middle, looking for the end zone. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Georgia Tech! I think what you love about that opening drive for the offense is the balance. They were able to throw the football to set themselves up into position, and then he carries it in for the TD. you got to be able to keep defenses on their heels, and they did a nice job of that on this opening drive. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive, and they punctuated it with a five-yard touchdown run. The kickoff unit about to go to work. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. So Georgia's offense will go to work for the first time today. And the spotlight in this game will undoubtedly be on these star wide receivers, David. I mean, they're featured, Reese. Like, these guys are going to touch the football a lot. These offenses are built to get them the football to make plays. We're in for a few catches today, Palmer. We sure are. When you can get open like these guys can, when you have the speed to take the top off of a defense, you know you're going to see a lot of explosive plays today. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. The give out of the gun. Finds his way ahead for five, and now they've got it at the 28. The dogs picked up their hearts and stuffed them right back into their chest and pulled out a close one last time. Yeah, definitely a lot of Georgia fans breathing a sigh of relief. A lot of success against the Yellow Jackets in this rivalry. They did not want to lose that one. Interested to see now how the Yellow Jackets come out today. They'll try to drive ahead on third and short. Really good job to pick up a chunk of yardage and get it out to the 39-yard line. And a great job by the offensive line. You're going to run the ball right up the middle. You better control the line of scrimmage. You can see the center, the guard, the tackles doing a good job getting on their guys just enough where this running back can get into space and make the big game. Georgia coming out with the fresh set of downs. The give on the inside. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. To the ground with the back. 
And he is swarmed under a host of defenders there to make the stop. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. Ball is at the 41 as this defense tries to force the punt on third and long. Looking to the big tight end. Got his man downfield. He's showing it all. The juice, the jets, the moves, and he's got it down to the 16-yard line. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. The dogs have their offense in high gear. Now from inside the red zone. Makes the catch. It's Kelton. They stop him just a link or two short of the first. And man, what they can do on second down here. Really good job working through his progression. You get it to him quickly, and the big tight end has a chance to run a little. And a really good job by the QB throwing an accurate throw. I, I got to hit those guys on the move, on the run, so they can do this. They can catch the football, get upfield, and chew up some extra yards. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. I love when players understand the situations and they understand where the first down marker is and they understand where I got to get to. A lot of people you'll see run north-south and try to bounce out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs instead of trying to make those big touchdown runs. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. Just an obvious holding call there and one that just kills an offense's momentum. Looking to throw, it's back. It's complete! And he was pushing for that goal line, but the knee stopped him at the two. It must be nice for this quarterback knowing he's got this type of athlete playing the tight end position. They can work the middle of the field for him. He's a guy who can stretch it vertically as well, but this is a guy the QB will look for early and often in this game. They've moved it forward to the two. Now it's second and goal. Trying to run it in. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. Well, he gets tackled down at the one-yard line, so offensively, do you feel confident enough on third here trying to hand it off again? Yeah, and I'm taking both these downs, and I'm coming downhill. I'm running the football trying to get this in the end zone. I only got a yard to go. I got to be physical. They want to dance their way in on third and goal. Just hammer it with this running back again, and he noses his way into the end zone. And they just keep feeding it to their workhorse back to open this game. Great job in the open field. He's got tremendous vision. He can make people miss. You saw all of that on display here in the opening drive. Lining up to add another. Bangs it through for an extra point. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. Looking for a productive play on first down. Quarterback on the keeper. And they'll make the stop, and we are headed to the end of the first period. We've played one, and we are right back where we started, all tied up after the first period as we take a look at the stats. After that tight first quarter, this second period ought to be a lot of fun.
They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Gets it out to the 25-yard line, a gain of three. And sticking to the run. I'll tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. Probably the toughest call on the play sheet. Third and long, balls at the 25. Throws to the wideout. Complete in the middle. Good, solid pickup on that one. They've got it out to the 40, and it's first down. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. Caught in the backfield, it's Haynes. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. Sometimes it's not about a fancy play design. It's about just getting him the ball and letting him play. Especially nowadays with running backs being so good out of the backfield. You know they're going to catch it, and there's so many ways to use them. But exactly, get it to him, let him break tackles, let him make plays. Easy decision. And the Yellow Jackets get enough for the first down. This quarterback does an outstanding job in his preparation, watching film and understanding when he has to pull the ball on these types of run plays. Great job keying on the defender and quickly making the right decision to pull it and then go get north and get the first. He'll keep it himself. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it, too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Alexander. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. I know a lot of people are going to look at that play and say, man, that was a bad play. It didn't gain any yards. But that could be the offense maybe setting something up. The play caller is going to remember that last play. He's going to remember how the defense reacted to it, made a quick tackle. They might pump that throw and then hit another player vertically down the field for an explosive play down the line. Just keep that in mind. That pass is well off target. He got hit as he was trying to throw, and they can't convert on third down. Yeah, and third and long, everybody is pinning their ears back and coming after the quarterback. You try to throw screens behind those. Sometimes they're very successful, but this time, defense played it great, and the play went nowhere. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. That thing was down for a while, but the big bounce carried it into the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. How big is this drive? Scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense gets a stop, and now it's up to them in a tie game. All right, so if you're the offensive coordinator here, let's dial it in. Who are your best matchups and best playmakers to take advantage of this golden opportunity? Yeah, and I'm interested to see this defense, too. Like, the momentum is clearly not in your favor. How do you get it back? How do you make a big play? Do you be more aggressive here to try to get the football back to your offense? They gave themselves room to operate with that first play. Now first down from the 37. Fast motion from the offense. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. Tell you what, that read game really slows you down defensively. Kind of makes you play responsibility football. And when you get chunks like that on first down as an offense, I would continue to come back to it. Here on second and short. Movement here from the tight end. Off the play fake. Unloads to the wideout. Got him downfield chopping up this defense and they've got it all the way down to the 23. And I really like when offenses attack over the middle of the field. Between the linebackers and the safeties, there's usually a soft area that you can usually have some success and a really nice job by this offense taking advantage of those areas. The Bulldogs have it with a first and ten. The back goes in motion. They'll throw it on first down. 
Snagged in the middle. It's Young. Well, they execute the in route. Now, how about the arm strength by the QB? That was an absolute bullet on that completion. Arga trying to make this red zone trip pay off. To the air. It's back. Makes the catch. They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with a first down. Yeah, and you see the wide receiver. He's got to push up field, make it look like he's going deep, but does a really good job sitting down on that curl, catching the ball. And then as soon as you catch that thing on that curl route, get up field, get positive yards. Nice route by that wide receiver. They'll try to run it in. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. There is nowhere to run and nowhere to hide on these situations. You know the physical ground game comes into play inside the five-yard line, and they match the intensity. Nice job. Everybody flying around to the football, making the tackle for a loss. Nice job by this defense. He'll pull it on the read. Touchdown, Georgia! Well, that's one the defense would like to have back. They would have wished the quarterback pitched that football, but instead, they took the wrong guy away and made it an easy decision for the QB. Getting set for the point after. And the PAT gives them a 14-7 lead. So it's an 80-yard drive, and they finish it off with the score from the four. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he's going to bring it out. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. The Georgia Tech offense rolls back onto the field. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them to football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. The Yellow Jackets moving quickly to the line. On the move. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And you hear about run blitzes. This is exactly what a run blitz is. When you know the ball's coming up the middle, you want to bring those linebackers, get them closer to the line of scrimmage, and fire. Right when the ball snapped, he's coming downhill, doing a good job creating a loss. That linebacker really knew what was going on. They'll leave it with him. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. Offensive linemen love to run the power. Why? You run power. You run power. Then you can play action. You don't want that defense to be sitting there saying, it's a pass, it's a pass, having to pass block every play. You've got to keep defenses off balance. It's third down now. They ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. Quarterback extends the play. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. To the air on first down. Firing to the right, complete. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And a big key on that throw to the slot receiver, guys, is putting the ball out in front. The location of the throw is what helped that guy get extra yards after the catch. And the Yellow Jackets come to the line with a fresh set of downs. 
They'll throw it on first down. Catch in the middle. It's Singleton. Yeah, great job creating space. That's what you're supposed to do. When you get man coverage, you've got to find a way to get a step, make it easy for your quarterback to read that leverage. And when he drags across the field, he can see he had him. He completes it for the first down. And now on second down for this offense. Scanning the field, it's King. He makes the connection. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. You've got to give the O-line a lot of credit there because it gave the receiver time to work all the way across the field on the drag route against zone coverage. Quarterback gets it to him. He's able to turn it up and get a first down. Down to the 18-yard line. It's first and 10. They'll throw it from the red zone. He caught it. And he will score. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets. Yeah, and the passing game comes through, man. And we need more of that in the second half. An extra point away from tying this football game. You trailed a little bit in the first half. Stayed calm. If this passing game can continue to heat up, look out in the second half. They'll try to tack one more on their score. Right down the boulevard. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. He'll bring it back, looking for help. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. These two defenses have had their heads spinning here in the first half, and now we might even see a little more scoring with this drive. It's going back and forth. This is like two heavyweights just trading blows, David. What has this defense got to do to get a stop here? I, I tell you what, man. When you're giving up points like this and you've got no momentum, you've got to find somebody that can make a play to create some. And, and listen, if, you're sc if they're scoring anyways, let's be aggressive. Let's blitz more. Let's, let's make sure we're making them feel discomfort in some way, shape, or form. And the play will stand after the replay booth just does a little double-checking to make sure. Back to pass. It's back. He's got his man. Makes the grab. They've got him down at the 40 after he ripped off 15 yards. The offense will have to use its first timeout of the half. Now from the 40, it's first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Got it in the middle. It's Bell. And quarterback dropping back, understanding I'm getting zone coverage. All I got to do is be a little bit patient, manipulate that defense a little bit. My wide receiver runs that drag, and I get the first down. The hurry up now, second down, clock ticking. He's looking to throw right down the middle. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. Lots of green grass as he gets it to the 31. The clock will stop with this timeout from the offense. They'll get a chance to regroup on the sideline. Going up top on first down. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Well, this defense felt coming into the game that if he was going to try to throw from the pocket, they could get to him and affect his accuracy, and they did on that last play. After the misconnection, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Got it in the middle, it's Etienne. The offense calls timeout, and they won't have any more left this half. This is why quarterbacks always take care of their offensive line. This is why they feed them in the offseason, invite them to the house, buy them gifts, take care of the big boys, because they take care of you, and those numbers start to pile up. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? And they decide to trot out the kicker. 
and he'll envision the ball flight as he lines it up from the right hash and 38 yards out. Just drives it between the uprights. And with that field goal, they now have the lead. Well, the head coach decided to play it safe on fourth and inches and try his field goal team out there, and his field goal kicker just made him look like a pretty smart guy. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room, and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10, and the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. Running out of time here in the first half, they're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. They needed to find enough space and get it moving forward, and they're up to the 22. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Gentlemen, from Athens to Atlanta, there are some edgy folks and emotional fan bases in this always contentious battle between the Dogs and Yellow Jackets. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how the duel between Georgia and Georgia Tech plays out. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. They keep it on the ground to open the third. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Man, I want to be a running back in this offense. When you take that hand off to the right and you see that blocking and all the holes open up, that's a good sight for a running back. You've heard of read and react. I think the defense read it. They just didn't react very well. Well, when you got that kind of a line, just all that push they're getting on that right side. They just pushed the defensive lineman back, got in the linebacker's laps, and man, oh, man, it was, it was brutal up front. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make him honor the run. Make him know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Back to pass, it's back. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. They'll tell you that somebody's always going to pop open, but it didn't happen in time before they got the sack. No, it did not. And you know what? I'm going to remember this. I'm going to remember zone defense. They didn't really have an answer. They weren't ready to get rid of the football. Quarterback hesitated. I got to him and got him on the ground. Might be a good call later on in the game. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. And here comes the pressure, and there he goes down again. Well, the defense obviously went in at halftime. They were trailing on the scoreboard. They needed to make some adjustments, and already they're showing some positive signs. On the very first drive of the second half, they're able to register a sack on third down, looking to get the ball back to their offense here. Georgia sends out the punt team. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. Boy, they had a chance to track that thing down, but it bounces into the end zone for a touchback. The rambling wreck offense rolls back onto the field. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anywhere. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. The give to the tailback. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. 
Well, there was just nowhere to go for the runner on that last play. Just way too much penetration up front. And as a result, they lose yardage. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Dropping back, it's Kane. Pressure coming. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. Just a great job defensively, making him go through his progressions, and he really didn't have time to do it. And that's exactly what you do in zone coverage. You drop in your spots, you read the quarterback's eyes, make sure you take away that quick stuff, and a great job rushing the passer and getting the sack. The Yellow Jackets will bring the punt team onto the field. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. Fair catch, called for and made. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. He's got it up to 25. And they pick up a better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his route. This offense just gets a bolt of energy when they get a play like that. Now they're in the red zone, first and 10 from the 20. He's got it on the run. Touchdown, Bulldogs! And they take it in for six more points. Offense gets the job done again. You want to build that cushion as we get deeper into the second half. Man, it makes it easy, doesn't it? You start getting up by a couple possessions, making the offense very predictable on the other side. Great job by the offense extending their lead. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. Just about set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Georgia Tech has the ball back, and here comes the Yellow Jacket offense. The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. Plenty of time left in this football game. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And listen, the defense will get this back and get some stops following and get you the football back. And I think, I think here, too, David, you have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the opponent. Yeah, they just went down and scored, but you score here, and this game's still tight. You keep their feet to the fire, so an opportunity here to keep applying that pressure. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. I love the QB here. He holds it, he holds it, he holds it just long enough to let the receiver run the drag route, and then he puts it out in front of him so he can catch it on the run in stride and then turn up field to use his speed. Now on first and 10 from the 29. They're trying to get to him. At the 40, there he goes. Gets it to the 46-yard line. First down for this offense. And the Yellow Jackets come to the line with a new set of downs. Caught behind the line, it's Alexander. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. They were able to make the completion, but he had to pick his way for just a little bit. Needed a little more help to spring him for some yardage. Yeah, if you're going to have success when you throw it outside like that, you're going to need some more blocking and better blocking downfield. Give the defense credit, though. They were able to rally and made a tackle. On the run, it's Haynes. And a decent game there before the defense makes a stop. 
And, you know, when we talk about great third down defenses, it really starts with them getting stops on first and second down. You've got to get those stops early in the drives to set up third and long. So that's a missed opportunity on that second down by this defense. And this offense is desperate to keep this drive alive, trailing by multiple possessions, and it's getting late. They'll move the chains. Good execution on third down. They've got it at the 41. Ooh, I like that option play. I'd keep running that, too, because it's obvious. The defense right now is really keying in on this running back. That was a big point of emphasis for them all week long in practice, and it's opening up holes now for the quarterback to run. It's first and 10. They've moved it to the 41. They'll run it behind the big guys on the left. On the move at the 30. Hit the afterburners, kid. They'll finally get him stopped at the one-yard line. What a run there. Well, it took everything on defense to just get that guy down on the one-yard line. He is a monster, Dave. And if this offense, Jesse, is going to keep doing that, you better bring in reinforcements on that defensive line. Get some big boys, because they're about to punch this thing in the end zone. The Yellow Jackets have it in scoring position on first and goal. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. Oh, the offense shows some life here and cuts into the lead with that score. And, man, they needed it. They had to have something to go right. Listen, still down, but this is a great start to getting back in this ballgame. Ready to try the point after. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. An 84-yard drive there. It was capped off by a one-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. He wants to throw. Caught over the middle. It's Lovett. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Yeah, and I tell you what, when you stick these fast suckers in the slot, they don't have to be big. But you get those guys that are so quick in the slot, they can get great matchups, and I can get the ball to them quick because they're such dynamic playmakers. Still some work to do after that last completion. It's second down. Finds his tight end. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. They'll go to the ground. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Great team defense on that one play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Going downfield for the big play. And it's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, dogs! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Well, as a defense, you know you're going to see the go route, especially against this guy. He does it to defenses, it seems, every single week. And so they're not able to get back deep enough to get run by. He makes the catch and then runs it into the end zone. They're going to have to change up their coverage and get some safety help up over the top because this guy's speed is a problem. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. 
quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish it with a flare, a 77-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The Georgia Tech offense rolls back onto the field. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close, Dave. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, football is so fast-paced now, and you score so quickly, it's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11 grabbed behind the line it's Lane and just a short safe pass play they pick up a few and offenses nowadays they're really just counting numbers how many guys do you have out wide how many guys do I have out wide if I have enough guys to block your guys boom it's just built into the offense pitch catch let me get a few yards and this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here already trailing big and the clock is not their friend and the ball is picked off Going the other way, and he's got room. And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. I love when people start to understand what we're doing defensively. If they're going to pass the football and that's where they're going to live, well, I'm going to live and die. I'm going to bring more defensive backs on the field so I can cover more of these speed guys that they have out there. Great job by the defensive back, breaking on the football, making the INT, making the DC look very smart. The offense set for a first down play. He'll start this drive firing. Grab behind the line. It's Lovett. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. Run in the red zone, it's ETN. They make the stop, and this running game moves the chains as they get the first down. Well, the defense didn't blitz. They didn't have everybody in gaps, and the offensive line took advantage at the point of attack, getting some push, opening up a hole, and the offense ripping off a nice run there. They've moved it into scoring territory, first and 10 from the 11. Looking for a man. It's back. Makes the grab. He's down at the one, and they almost had the touchdown pass on that one. This offense is not letting up, guys. They've got a lead here late, and they are still taking shots. They're still looking for explosive plays. This defense just has not had an answer here all game long. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Looking for the score. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia! Things getting tough for the Jackets as the Harry Dogs putting the fight into this one. Georgia owning the Jackets, and they own this series. This rivalry, the hatred between the two. Right now, it's looking like that Governor's Cup going straight to the Dogs. PAT unit on the field. And that extra point is a big one as they now have a three possession, 17 point lead in the fourth. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Let's see what he can do with the return. And the return man reaches the end of the line, and down he goes. The rambling wreck offense rolls back onto the field. 
Boy, they hope this next drive is more productive after throwing a pick last time, Jesse. Yeah, and the coaches did a good job on the sideline there, just talking to the young quarterback and making sure he's able to turn the page, calm him down, to go out and refocus this drive, Dave. Yeah, and some people do that better than others, but you got to show some trust in him, maybe get the ground game going, help around him a little bit with the system. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down. He's looking to throw it. And that pass intercepted. Takes it the other way. Touchdown, Bulldogs! What a great play by the defense and paying it off with the interception return. And that just might do it. Man, offense needed points, needed points badly. Defense comes up with the big interception takes it all the way back just to pad their lead a little bit and make this game almost, almost out of reach. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. On the run from inside his own five. And the returner will be brought down. Georgia Tech has the ball back, and here comes the Yellow Jacket offense. Well, the good news is they threw a touchdown pass last time. It was just to the wrong team, Jesse. Well, that's an unfortunate part of the game for quarterbacks, but guess what? They do happen, so you've got to be able to turn the page here and lead this offense. Well, I think you know this defense is going to be aggressive. They're going to jump routes. They're going to play aggressive. You've got to take advantage of that. Maybe use that this time to your advantage. After that big gainer to open things up, they'll put it in play from the 40. To the air, it's King. Quickly complete. Well, and here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. That last completion sets him up on second down. Off play action. And the pass is incomplete, jarred loose by the hit. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. Dances away from the heat. And the quarterback was trying to extend the play, and the defense brought it to a close. I got to give this defense a lot of credit. They were very confident coming into this one, even though they were going up against one of the best quarterbacks in the entire country. They're confident because they believe in their ability to get to him, and they've been able to do that in this game. There's another sack here late. down by multiple possessions they can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter they'll go for it on fourth down he'll try to throw and pick up the first down it's incomplete and the defense makes a stop and gets the football back offense getting set for first down from the gun running back on the move it's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. He'll do it himself. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. I don't think the quarterback made the right read on that play. I know they're asking a lot of this QB. He's got a lot to focus on with the pass game and all the different types of runs that they have in their playbook. But on that play there, that pre-snap look told me to hand it off. Wide receiver now comes in motion. 
Looking for room. It's Etienne. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. He's already made one field goal, but this one is going to need a big leg. A 50-yard attempt coming. Never a doubt. And they'll push that lead out a little further. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg. 50-plus, and he did it with ease. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Georgia Tech offense rolls back onto the field. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Those two failed to make the connection. It's an incomplete pass. At this point in the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. That incompletion leads to second down and 10. Looking downfield, it's King. Not quite in rhythm there, incomplete. Well, this guy must feel like he's run into a buzzsaw in this game. He has been under duress all game long, and that's a big reason why he's thrown multiple interceptions in the game, too. Nothing coming easy to him. It's hard to see the field when your internal clock is going off so fast because of the pressure of this defense, and that's why they find themselves down by so much here in the fourth. Finds a man by himself. Can anyone catch him? At the 20. And they finally get him stopped, but it's a big throw and catch, and he's down at the five. And that's what makes this offense so dangerous. They've got playmakers all over the field. Here they are on their own side of the 50, third and long on any given play. They can take it the distance they do right there, not just moving the chains, but setting themselves up now first and goal. And the Yellow Jackets trying to pay off the threat on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. Now on second and goal. He's looking to throw. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets! And they take it in for six more points. Yeah, nice pitch, nice catch. And listen, maybe this helps next game, right? Like, we're trying to find a rhythm, find something that works, find somebody to go to. And this offense is struggling, and you're down by a 1,000. But I like that they continue to fight. Lining up for the PAT. Right down the middle. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And it was finished off with a two-yard touchdown toss. They're down big, but they'll keep fighting to the bitter end and line up for the onside kick here. Cool as a cucumber as the hands team makes a sure catch. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. Man, how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal kicker can knock it in from a long way out. 
Well, he's one of the best in the country, Reese, no doubt. But this offense would like him and prefer for him to kick an extra point on this drive. And to do that, David, they've got to have more rhythm on offense. Yeah, create some more rhythm, create some more explosive plays, and maybe some more balance. And listen, it's nice to have that weapon and kick long field goals. But you kick too many field goals, you don't get very many Ws. They'll keep it on the ground. The clock is on their side. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. You know, every running back thinks about the 100-yard barrier every time they take the field. And this guy, I know he's got it in his mind. He might be the only one in the stadium right now that knows. He's got 97 yards rushing here in the fourth quarter. You know he is begging his coach just for one more carry to get that mark. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Trying to pick it up on the ground. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. Yeah, it's make or break time for this defense now. They gotta get a stop, and if that's bringing more bodies in, bringing more beef in, they're running the football right up the gut, right at you. They're not gonna throw the football in this situation. Time to be more physical and get this big stop. And while this game is all but decided, the offense's job is to score. So they might try to score again. Turning to the running game on first and goal. Touchdown, Dogs! And the route is on. This defense is going to have to do a better job being physical. That's two rushing touchdowns they've now allowed. They have got to be better close to the line of scrimmage. attempt to try and with the extra point they push the lead out a little further a very efficient five play scoring drive and they punctuated it with a five yard touchdown run they're just about ready to kick it away and no chance at a return here they'll start this drive at their own 25 the rambling wreck offense rolls back onto the field. This offense has pretty much been stuck in the mud the entire game. It's been a frustrating performance, Jesse. Yeah, and listen, you can't be hanging your head just yet. This game's not over. This coaching staff is still evaluating their players. So if you're on the field right now, you've got to finish this game. You've got to try to prove something to them. Well, the game is over, to be clear. They're not coming back. But I hear what you're saying. Keep fighting. Keep showing your coaches it matters. And maybe find something positive here late that you can build on for the weeks to come. Comes out throwing on first down. Grabbed in the middle. It's lame. And this defense is a half a beat behind. They just can't quite keep up. They've got it down to the 21. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. Fires to the wide out. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like, they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't, they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room that people aren't going to like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next time. Throws to the wideout. Grabbed over the middle. It's Lane. He's brought down, but he's got him inside the 10. First and goal from the eight. 